Now, I don't know if you've ever thought about this, but every flat surface, such as this piece of paper, contains an infinite number of vectors. For example, for a vector that is this long and goes in this direction, there are an infinite number of other vectors that are the same length and parallel to it. The whole paper, the whole surface, is completely covered in vectors that are parallel to that one. But for every group of vectors of the same length and direction, there's one special vector that starts at the origin of the grid. This vector joins the origin to a fixed point on the grid. For example, the vector 4 over 3 joins the origin to the point with coordinates 4, 3. And the vector minus 2 over 6 joins the origin to the point with coordinates minus 2, 6, etc. Again, it's important not to mix up the vectors with the coordinates, even though they may have the same numbers in them. This special vector that starts at the origin is called the position vector of the point. The coordinates give the position of a point, whereas the position vector gives the journey, if you like to think of it that way, to the point from the origin. Now, as you might expect, the examiners have found ways of setting you questions that involve position vectors. So let's have a look at a couple. P is the point 3, 4. Vector PQ is minus 6 over 3. And you're asked to find the position vector of the point Q. Now, a diagram should help us understand what's going on here. Here are the points P and Q, although at this moment we don't know the exact position of point Q. But we want the position vector of Q, so that must be the vector OQ. The vector OP must be 3 over 4, and we can see that vector OQ is equal to vector OP plus vector PQ, i.e. vector OQ equals 3 over 4, plus minus 6 over 3, and this equals minus 3 over 7. So the position vector of Q is minus 3 over 7. Now that's quite straightforward. It wasn't too difficult, was it? So let's look at a rather more tricky example. If the position vector of point A is small a, and the position vector of point B is small b, find small c, the position vector of C in terms of A and B, where AC is one half of CB. Now, if we look at the diagram, we will see that C must be one third of the distance from A to B, but nearer to point A. So vector C is equal to vector OC, which is equal to vector OA plus vector AC. Using our high road, low road technique, we can see that vector AB is equal to B minus A. So vector AC must be a third of this, one third of B minus A. Substituting this into C equals OA plus AC, we get C equals OA plus AC, which is A plus one-third of B minus A, which, juggling the algebra, comes to two-thirds of A plus one-third of B. And there we are. That's the position vector of point C.